it on. So when you're adding your grommets, you're actually going to have your bag completely finished. My outside is done, my top stitching is done, my lining is finished, including closing up the zippered pocket. Essentially, my bag is completely finished, and the only thing left to do is to add the grommets. Now, when you have your bag done, this top piece will already have some markings from your template, and I've already gone ahead and started cutting on the sample I'm going to demo on, but I'll show you how I make sure that those come out nice and even. Your grommets do need a hole cut all the way through both of these layers. That's how you're going to put your drawstring through. And I know that that can be kind of nerve wracking. You just finished this bag and now you have to cut some holes in it. I know it's a little bit overwhelming, but I promise it's not that bad. So let me grab my sample here. Now I did start cutting these already. I already had them marked and I just used my pen here to do my marking, but I'm gonna show you how to actually make these bigger. I know the ones in the front are the correct size because I was testing some things out with this pattern, but I know that these holes are not. And if you notice here, this one on the right looks much higher than the one on the left. I'll show you how I make sure that they come out as even as possible. When the bag is cinched together, you're not gonna notice if it's off a little bit, but if it's off a lot, which these two to me look like they're really off, it's going to make a big difference. So what I do is I go ahead and I grab my grommets and I grab my ruler and my marking tool. And for this, I am using a ballpoint pen. I have this surface right here. This is just a wooden um, cutting tray. It's actually a really thick one. This way, I'm not going to be hitting the stone that I have covering on my table, and I'm not going to be hurting any of my hardware because I'll use my fleece. So let me go ahead and open up my grommets. I'm gonna show you how they look so you can distinguish between which um, half you're gonna be using, and I'll show you how to make your marks. I've gone ahead and spread out all of my grommets here. These are all eight, so 16 pieces, eight sets for my bag. And what I've done is I flipped them all so that the wrong side is facing me. I found that this is the best way to distinguish which side is which, because you're going to need a male and a female half and put them together for your grommets on your bag. That's how they snap together. But at a glance, they all look like they're very similar and they're all the same, uh, the same size. So what I like to do here is take a look and you'll see on this one that there is a little bit of a lip around the inside. This is the female half, the larger opening. There's this tiny little lip, which is going to catch on this half right here. When you put them next to each other, you can see that there is a very slight difference and you kind of get used to it after a while. If you were trying to put the same one together, you would just find that they weren't, um, they weren't linking together at all. If you take the opposite side, you'll find that you can get them to nest inside of each other. And I can just take my fingers here and squeeze them to hold them together. Uh, that's what I'm actually gonna use the hammer for when I get them in place. So what I wanna do is just kind of lay these out and separate them. And I know that I have eight of each. So there's my eight female. Nope, I have one extra, here we go. There's eight and here is eight on the male side. And so now I know I have my sets. So I like to leave them spread out like this. That way I can just grab one from each pile when I'm ready to put them together. So you may notice that these holes right here are larger than this one. So how do I make sure that these are evenly spaced and that they're all in the correct placement? What I want is to make sure that these are at the same height. I don't want this one to be higher or lower than these. So the best way that I found to do it is after I do my initial marks using my template, I'm gonna take my ruler and lay my ruler lined up right along this top seam. And I usually go a half inch up to five eighths of an inch. It depends on, um, on what size works the best for that. It also depends on my top stitching. I don't want my grommet to sit too high and get into the top stitching. And I don't want it to sit too low because then it's very hard to use the drawstring. So what I've done is I found that a half inch on this bag worked perfectly. I've lined up my half inch mark right along the seam and I'm just butting the edge of my grommet right up against it so I can see where the hole is. Now this one's already marked. It's probably hard to tell because you're, you might be seeing the one behind it, but this one is already the correct size and I have tested it. So now it's time to do this one over here. And so what I'm gonna do is take my ruler here and butt my grommet right up against it and I am kind of eyeballing to make sure that it's in the center, but again, I've already used the template to make my first mark and so I'm gonna go ahead and just mark inside, just like so. And so I just have to cut this little bottom edge right here. When it comes time to cutting, I found that if I hold my bag with the top facing towards me, 
and I get my scissors right in there that I can get my scissors around a little bit easier. I'm cutting through the two layers of cork. I'm only doing one hole at a time. You don't wanna to get too overzealous and start cutting into the back as well because you won't get the right placement. You want a pair of scissors that have a really sharp tip like these do right here. And you wanna place them so that you're cutting on the outside of the pen, not on the inside. When I'm done, just like here, I don't want any pen marks left. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start up here so I can clean this edge up a little bit. You'll notice that my holes are not perfect. They are not even perfectly round and that is fine because the grommet is going to hide any of those imperfections. So I'm just gonna trim and sometimes the front and back will shift a little bit away from each other. So just keep turning the bag wherever you need to so that you can do your trimming, okay? You can always go larger you can't really make it smaller. So I like to do a little bit at a time. And once I've gotten a couple of them done, I can see about how big they need to be. So before I go any further and cut this any larger, I'm going to take this half. Again, this has the wider half, the one with the inner rim and the outer rim, because this is the one that it needs to fit. If I try to fit it against this one with the smaller hole, what's gonna happen is if the fabric fits around here, it might not fit around this side and then it's not going to get a really um, crisp, um, they're not gonna meet together very well and if they don't, your grommets could fall out and you don't want that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna test it from back here so you can see and my hole is large enough, it fits snugly around the edge, doesn't fit you know, too tight, too loose. If I want, I can go in and do a little bit of extra trimming, just a little bit, go a little at a time. And your hole is going to be approximately a half inch in width. Your centers here are a little over a half inch, so your hole is gonna be about the same. And I'll just kind of slip that over. And you can see this is kind of messy, it doesn't matter. So I can fit that nice and snugly around and I know that it's going to fit well, and so this piece will go in really easily because this is the larger half. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep going around and making all of the rest of my holes larger. Here's another tip. Again, using your template, it's gonna give you even placement, but just to make sure that these have not shifted at all in the cutting, you're gonna go ahead and measure, and from one side to the next should be about two and a half inches, okay? So if it's a hair off, totally fine, but if I'm measuring this one, I can see that I'm I'm about an eighth of an inch off, so I'm probably gonna trim this one a little bit more towards the left. What I don't want is for this to be three and this to be two and a half. I want them to be two and a half all the way around. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep trimming, and then I'll show you how to test with your grommets before you set them in permanently. So I've gone ahead and I finished cutting all of my holes on the front and back to the right size. I checked them as I went. I checked my spacing from left to right, and I also made sure that my spacing from this seam up is as even as I can get it. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect, but the closer that you are, the better it's gonna look in the end. Little differences, if this is not exactly two and a half in some spots, or if this is a little bit over, a little under a half inch, it's gonna be very hidden once the drawstring part is in place, but the better that you do it, the better you're going to be and the more you'll like it when it's finished. So I still have my little cutting tray under here. This is actually just a, a chopping block for a kitchen. And I love this because it has that groove around the edge. So I can just push all of my little cork bits in there and take it to the garbage and empty it when I'm done. So now that I have this all in place, before I permanently set these with my hammer, I'm gonna take my set right here. I've got one male and one female piece, and I'm gonna check these. So what I'm gonna do is put them in the hole, and I'm gonna give them a very light pinch. I don't wanna permanently set these until I'm sure, because I still could be off a little bit, and I might wanna move something. You do have a little bit of wiggle room, because remember, this hole is gonna be covering this, but I still have that spacing on the outside of the grommet that will cover it. So it doesn't matter which is the front and which is the back, they're both the same. I don't really have a reason why, but I always put the smaller piece, the male, in the front, and I put this piece on the inside. It doesn't make any difference, but it's just one of those little neuroses that you kind of pick up along the way. So I'm gonna take this piece right here, my smaller one, I know that's gonna fit because the hole is larger than that, and I'm gonna take my larger piece back here, and I'm just gonna pinch them very gently together. I can still take them apart. I don't want them to stay in there permanently, just in case I wanna change anything. So I'm gonna, again, take another set, and I'm gonna go ahead and put that set in here, 
just very lightly pinch that together just a little bit. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put all the rest in. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've just temporarily placed all of these in here. I'm being very gentle with my bag because they are not permanently affixed. So I'm just kind of taking a look here and I'll grab my ruler again. I'm kind of just eyeball and check. They're about two inches now apart. Now for some reason, and maybe it's just the angle I'm standing at, this one looks a little bit higher than the rest of these. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of check this. And I am right, that one is higher. There is my half inch. This one is a little bit higher. So do I wanna fix it? Now would be the time. So I am gonna go ahead and pop this one out. And what I'm gonna do, since it was a little on the high side, is I'm just gonna cut a little bit from the bottom edge right here, just a little. And remember you have some wiggle room, so don't panic. And also when the drawstring is in, I probably wouldn't have noticed it, but I just wanted to make sure that I liked it a little bit better. So let's go ahead and put these in, and then I can take a look, not upside down, because that is a little bit harder to get a good view. Get in there, okay, just gently put that together. That looks better to me. Okay, so those look really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and just turn this over to the back. And these look really good to me, just at a glance. I think they're great. So I am ready to go ahead and start putting them in. So what I'm gonna do here, set my bag aside just very gently, and I'm gonna grab some batting here. This is just fusible fleece, because it's what I always have around. And I just have a couple of layers here that I'm gonna set down on my surface and I have this smaller scrap right here. That's what I'm going to use inside of the bag. So I like to do it like this. I like to set my bag here and set this inside and then hammer from the inside. It doesn't really matter, but I just find it easier with this surface. If you have somewhere that you can put the bag over something, if this would fit over your little cutting board, you could probably do it from the outside. So what I do, I move my ruler out of the way. I grab my hammer and I'm just gonna fold this back. I just kind of pick one and start and then go around and then I go around a second time. So I place my batting down, my bag on top and my little batting piece inside and I'm just gonna take my hammer or rubber mallet and I'm gonna go ahead and tap. And I kind of am tapping around in a circle to make sure that I'm getting all the sides. Once I've done that, I can see that that is in there. It's not going anywhere. And then I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest after I get them done the first time, I go around a second time and make sure that they're all in place. Okay, so all of my grommets are in place. I've gone ahead and tapped them all two times each. And now I just like to check them, kind of give them a tug with my fingernail. You can feel when they're together. Make sure that nothing is poking out, no little pieces of cork that need to be trimmed. And I am good to go. So now that it's done, all I have to do is add my cork drawstring and my little tab and my bag is finished. I've gone ahead and I've grabbed my chocolate brown sample. I already have my handle hooked on. The last thing I need to do is put my cork cording and my little tab on and I'll be good to go and ready to use my bag. So what I like to do here is I've grabbed some cording. This is a, a yard, so it's 36 inches. It sounds like a lot, but it's actually the perfect amount and you can always trim it down if you want to, but this is what I like to use. And I'm gonna start in the back. And so what I wanna do is from the back, to keep this as even as possible, I hold my ends like this, and I put one on each grommet next to my seam in the back, and then I just go ahead and pull that through. Now from the inside, I'm gonna go in, and then out, and then back out through this one. Do the same thing over here. So I'm coming out, back in, and back out the front. And just like that, I've got it nice and even. And then I'm gonna take my little cork tab. Now your edges are turned under here, so sometimes what I like to do is kind of fluff it up a little bit, just push that. I'm gonna take my cording on one side and poke that through like this and take that over here. It gets caught sometimes, there we go. And so once I've done that, you can see that that 36 inches is not as big as you think. So once that's in there, I, all I have to do is just go ahead and pull that nice and tight and my bag is closed. I can very easily open it as well, just slide that down. On the ends here, what do you do to finish these? Well, there's a couple of options. You can go ahead and just leave it as is. You can tie it in a little bit of a knot if you want, just to finish that. 
You can also use some cork scraps and add a little tassel to the end, or you can get some end caps. Depending on when this video is released, we do have them on order, so they may or may not be in by the time this video is on YouTube. I will try to update the information section if they do come in after I post this. So I'm just gonna leave mine knotted just like that, and I am ready to go. I have my handle on, I have my drawstring in, and I'm ready to use my Rue bucket bag. I hope this helped and took away some of your fears on putting in snap together grommets. They're not really that hard. And the hardest part is getting up the courage to cut into your bag, which also is not hard. Get yourself a good marking tool and some nice sharp scissors and you too will be adding snap together grommets. Thanks for joining me.